Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jay. I'm an online reseller over on eBay. It is once again that time that we head into town and try and get some good stuff from the charity shops. It is currently Monday the 22nd of June 2020 and two more charity shops are said to open today in my area. We have one in the town which deals with a lot of gaming. Uh, not like video games, but toys for children and stuff like that. You usually get some tech decks and stuff in there, which is really nice. And we've also got one in the village that has supposedly reopened. And they finally take card in there as well. They got their card machine fixed. They used to be cash only, and I never used to have cash, so never really bought anything in there yet. Uh, but yeah, today we're about to jump on a train, take the journey over into the town. Get the train for the first time on video since lockdown, which will be nice, a uh, nice little journey. And then once we've been there, we'll make our way back, go to these ones, go home and show you guys exactly what we managed to pick up. What are you doing with the Harry Potter books? They're mine. Yeah. They're gone. Oh.
Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I am home, I have all of my stuff that we have bought from the charity shops and I'm gonna try and quick fire my way through them because there is actually quite a lot here. Now I've spent 18 pounds today on all of this stuff and my hope is to 10 times my money. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be showing an item, talking about it for a second and down here, you're gonna see an average sale price for these items, I'm gonna add them in in post. And then over here, there's gonna be a total, so all of the items added together as we go through them. So, like I said, 18 pounds I've spent, and I'm trying to get to 180. Now, whether that's possible or not, I'm not sure. In the last episode, we spent 10 pounds, and we managed to 18 times our money. Uh, the profit on that was around 180 pounds. So at 10 pounds to 180, we times our money by 18. Today, I'm just going for 10 times because 18 is really difficult to get to and we got lucky last time, but maybe we'll do it. Um, maybe we'll get higher than that, I'm not sure. I've not price checked all of this stuff yet. I'm just gonna be showing you what we've got and then in post, I'm gonna be adding how much these items are worth. So like I said, we have quite a few items to get through, so I'm gonna try and do this as quick as possible. So starting now, let's go. First item here, I'm not sure how well you can see this. This is a walking stick. It's made of aluminium or aluminum if you're in America. It's, uh, it's one that you can make shorter or longer depending on your height. Has a nice squeezy handle and on the bottom it has a shock absorber. So yeah, don't really know much about walking sticks. Not really my age range yet. Fingers crossed I won't need one for a while. Uh, but I thought because it had the shock absorber it might be worth some money but we'll find out. I uh, have sold some before, not this design, so it will be interesting to see how much that is worth. Next up we have two bags full of random pieces of uh, Playmobil. These are little animals, little characters, branches, trees, benches, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, that can do really well. I'm not sure exactly what this is going to be worth. My estimate is just going to be random, uh, something I'm going to try and achieve because obviously I'm not going to part these out into little pieces. I would say probably maybe 10 pounds a bag, something like that. That could be way off, but I'll do my research and uh, this number down here might not be too accurate on these. I'll be very conservative on this price, but yeah, I'm looking for maybe 10, 15 pounds, uh, 20 pounds for the lot, something like that. Next up, we have this small tub of Lego Races Lego. This is brand new and sealed. I have no idea what this is worth. Uh, it's all in there. It's never been opened. Uh, so I don't know exactly, but I presume this is probably worth maybe like five pounds or something, but who knows. Next up we have this, which is a Lego Star Wars lightsaber. It does pop out like so, and when you press the button it makes noises. When you swing it, it goes zzzz. I'm not going to do the sound because I'll probably get copyrighted uh, by Lucasfilms or Disney or something. Uh, but it's back battery operated and there is a light in there, so this does light up nice and green. So fingers crossed this is a good one. Uh, it's from 2006, I believe, so it's quite an old one, 14 years, something like that. Never mind, 2010, 10 years old. Next up, this is quite a good one, actually. This is a brand new pair of women's Gola uh, trainers. I believe they're probably for something like tennis or some sort of other sport like that. They are brand new, they are unused, and they're actually really nice looking. Um, yeah, they're white with red. I don't know how well you can see these, but these are fresh. These are squeaky clean. They've clearly never been worn. Um, yeah, the soles on there, they've never seen the light of day, to be honest. Um, yeah, the RRP, or the recommended retail price on the box, is 30, 32 99 as you can see. So we'll probably be aiming for around the 25 30 pound range. Uh, but these might be vintage, these might be really old. Uh, they did, they were in a box of uh, ladies' high heels and stuff like that, and I dug through it and I found these. Um, so whether these are old and they never got used, I don't know. Obviously if they're old, like 15, 20 years old, and they don't sell these particular ones anymore, they could be worth more. Uh, but I'm just going with that these are probably new. Uh, so yeah, 25 pounds is my guess, but I could be wrong. Value down here. Okay, we've got a few book type purchases. This here is a brand new uh, Harry Potter or Fantasy Beast, sorry, and where to find them coloring book. Brand new, never used. It's uh, untouched on the inside. Um, the RRP on this is 9.99. I'm probably gonna go for about six pounds uh, with two pound postage. Um, 
which will be a nice little profit on that one. Next up we have these four books. These are Japanese manga Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, books. I don't know too much about manga, but they looked pretty fresh. Didn't look too used. Uh, there seems to be a couple of different series here because there's two number fives, but they're different books. Uh, so I'm not really sure how this works. Have to do some research, but I've heard lots of good things about manga when it comes to their sell price uh, second hand. And because these are in such good condition and their Yu-Gi-Oh, which I believe is quite a popular one still, uh, this could be some good money, but I don't know right now. You'll have to have a look at the number down here. Right, we have this nice looking tennis racket. Now, the reason I picked this up was because to me it looked vintage. It has this nice square a uh, rectangly kind of wooden handle. I don't know how well you can see that. It's in really good condition. None of the uh, the racket is damaged. Um, all of the string, I don't really know if that's the technical name, uh, but the strings are all tight. There's no loose or damaged pieces. There's no chips out of the wood. It's all really nice condition. The handle is a little bit scuffy, uh, but anyone that buys this could easily replace the handle grip. And it does come with the sleeve for the top as well. So yeah. My best guess is this is probably not worth too much, uh, but I could be wrong. I just picked it up on a whim uh, because it looked pretty cool and it looked vintage. But again, this could be modern for all I know. Um, you'll see how much that's worth down there. Okay, we have two kind of pop-up-y items here now. This one is called the Sun Scent, which I believe is either, I haven't actually opened it yet, it's either a pop-up tent for like the beach or something like that, or it's some sort of sun shade for when you're on the beach or in the garden or having a picnic or something along them lines. I'm going to have to take this into the garden and take a closer inspection to make sure it's all good. There's no holes or tears or rips or anything in there. Uh, but yeah, it comes in this nice carry case bag. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed this summer this will sell for some decent money. And along the same sort of line, there's a pop-up football goal for the garden. So. Uh, your kids can play uh, football or soccer in the back garden and shoot into an actual net. Uh, like I said, this is pop-up. It has the official stick up here for the MLS, which is the Major League Soccer brand. And uh, yeah, again, I've not opened this, so I don't know if this is in good condition or if it's even complete or whatever, or if it pops up or not. Uh, but yeah, as a little throw-in for the stuff that I got, this could be some good money this summer, hopefully. Okay, we got some puzzles now. This is a nice complete puzzle uh, by Falcon Deluxe and uh, Ladybird Collaboration. This is a wartime collection puzzle. There's two in the box and it does depict stuff from the Second World War, I believe, uh, and the First World War. So there's planes, there's ships, there's tanks, uh, there's soldiers on bikes and stuff like that. Uh, wartime stuff can be really popular when it comes to puzzles, I'm not so sure. Uh, first I picked up a wartime puzzle, but we'll soon find out. Maybe this has some value, maybe it doesn't, who knows. Another puzzle here, this is a complete Christmassy kind of puzzle. Uh, this one's actually by Waddington's. It's not very often you see puzzles by Waddington's these days, they're more about board games and stuff. Uh, but when you do see them, I do pick them up, especially when it's the limited edition versions with this nice gold. Um, this will do well towards Christmas. Um, before Christmas this probably won't sell but I will list it anyway because there is some people that will buy these like any time of the year. Um, they'll either put them away and do them at Christmas or they just love doing puzzles that they'll do this at any time of the year. Uh, so yeah, I'm probably looking for around the £10 mark on this. Might be more, might be less. Next up now we have this which is a labyrinth wooden game. It's kind of like a maze, you put the ball bearing in and you have to use these little uh, handles to navigate it to the finish, otherwise it falls down these holes. Now, this has one ball bearing, it's supposed to have two, I believe, so it is missing one ball bearing, but that doesn't affect the game at all because you only play with one active anyway. It's from Hamleys, which is a really popular toy shop in, uh, in London. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed this gets me around £10. Okay, so these two items now are ones I've never really picked up before. These are brand new uh, duvet cover sets. Now I don't know how well you can see this on camera, but they are both kind of like in a flowery design. They're both brand new, they both have their uh, card around them, they've clearly never been used or opened. This one here is from Primark, has an RRP of £11. Probably going to ask for around £6 on this one. And this one is from Asda, the George Home line. And again, they're both uh, double bed size, 
uh, with two pillowcases as well. Uh, so probably going to either bundle these together for like 15 or something around them lines. Never picked up duvet covers before, but they were brand new and uh, cheap, so why not? Okay, you're not going to believe me, but we found another Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. You would have seen it in the footage probably. Uh, yeah, this is again a really good condition one actually. The box has a little nick on the corner, but it's all complete, nice condition. Uh, which we like and again this one will go for around £15 and we have this which is a unique kind of puzzle um, it's by Treffle which they do a lot of puzzles actually uh, but this is a unique one because they're not normal puzzle shaped pieces uh, they are unique kind of cutouts, so it makes the puzzle I guess a little bit harder a little bit more fun to do for someone that loves doing puzzles lovely picture as well here of this uh, tiger um, I believe it's a tiger, I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, there was another one of these puzzles at the charity shop. Unfortunately, there was a homemade piece in there, which would tell me that they've lost the piece. So I left that one, but I did pick this one up. Needs to be double checked that it's all in there, of course. But fingers crossed it is. And this will be a nice, uh, nice sell. All right, we got a couple of plush teddies right now coming up. This one here is another Womble. We've done well with the Wombles. Uh, in the past, this one is a small little plush Womble. He, he is missing his uh, little jacket here, uh, but it is vintage. It's from like the 19-something Carruthers. I don't really know, the 80s or 90s. Um, so yeah, this will probably bring around the 8 to £10 mark. And this one here is a plush teddy from Aldi or Aldi, however you want to pronounce it. Aldi, Aldi. Parsnip or something? I don't know, something along them lines. They're popular at Christmas and they always sell out for some reason. Uh, I basically got this as a throw-in uh, with the rest of my stuff. So whether this will sell or not, I don't know. If not, I'll just sell it at the car boot sale. We have a few more items left now. This is a brand new mini cork globe. Uh, it's a little small globe that's made of cork. Comes with little pins so you can pin in locations or places you've been to, whether on holiday or work or something like that. And you can display it on like your desk or your bedside table or something. This goes for around 20, 25 pounds brand new on eBay. So that's a really nice pickup. Now this one here is a watch. This is currently not working. Unfortunately, it does need a new battery. Uh, of course, it will be listed as such. But yeah, this is a Fahrenheit Swiss balance color, colors design. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's this nice silvery watch um, or stainless steel watch, should I say. Uh, with a nice pinky ready colored uh, front on it right there. It does come with all of the um, authentication plaques and stuff in there. So it is a genuine watch. It does just need a new battery. Fingers crossed it works. Uh, I have a guy that can put a battery in this, but I'm probably just gonna sell it as is uh, with a new battery needed and uh, hope that it works um, because it's quite expensive to change a battery. It's like five pounds or something. So that will eat into the profit. Uh, but yeah, I'm probably just going to list this for around £25-£30, see what happens. Right, this here is a brand new set of espresso mugs. They have these crazy designs on them. There's like a fox, uh, a peacock, um, a butterfly. These are brand new, obviously for espresso, so they're really small. They're more like the size of a, a large shot glass, I presume. Uh, so yeah, this could be a really nice seller. Maybe it will sit in the store for ages, I'm not sure. But all this kind of like kitchen-y um, kind of mugs and stuff, they usually do really well and sell quite quickly if, uh, if they're brand new. So yeah, this could be a nice quick seller. Next up here we have a complete season three collection DVD for Star Trek The Next Generation. Comes in this nice, um, I was going to say tin, but it's more plasticky uh, case. Uh, it does open up here and then there's like a fold out. Uh, not really sure exactly what this is worth, probably around the eight to 10 pounds mark, something along them lines. It's not massive amounts of money, uh, but I saw it and I thought, why not pick it up um, and give it a go? So yeah, this will be listed for probably around eight to 10 pounds. More accurate prices, like I said, will be down here. So we have one more item left. How are we doing? Are, are we doing well on the overall total? Hopefully we're at like 150 at this point. <laughs> I could be way off, we could be at like 60 quid. Uh, but yeah, we got one more item left. 
and hopefully this one will bolster our price a little bit more. Like I said, I'm trying to get to 10 times my money. So if this is not 180 by the end of this video, then maybe I didn't do as well as I thought I did. But 10 times in your money is a really good uh, amount. So even if I times my money by five, I'll be happy. But yeah, another um, electronic here from my charity shop, which is really nice. This is a Gear 4. Uh, speaker dock station with a built-in radio for the old um, iPods and iPhones. Comes with the uh, the wide pin, so you can only use your older versions on here. Uh, so it is for the older ones, but you can buy an adapter. So I'm looking, if this is worth decent money, I'll probably invest a couple of quid in the adapter for the new plug. So you can plug in your new phones and your new iPods and stuff like that into here as well so this is all fully tested and working the only problem is the end of the radio antenna has been either chopped off or snapped off or something um, so that will have to be either fixed by myself or I'll list it uh, with damage to the radio uh, antenna and then someone can fix it um, but yeah fingers crossed this is a good amount of money I'm hoping it's at least 20 quid uh, it could be way more it could be worthless I have not checked as of yet. So you guys are going to know how much I've made before I do. Well, technically not because I have to do the edit and upload it, but you know what I mean. Uh, at this point of filming, I don't know how much money I potentially made for my £18 investment. Uh, hopefully it's at least five times. If we get to 10 times, that's fantastic. In the last episode, like I said, we did 18 times our money because we had that really crazy... Uh, squeak, squeak box I think it was um, and that actually sold pretty much the next day for £75 so we did really well there so yeah fingers crossed all of this stuff brings us some decent money uh, if you've liked today's video please do drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already uh, click that notification bell as well so you know exactly when my next video is out and you can be there straight away and of course I will see you guys in the next video keep on buying keep on selling join the discord and uh, chat to us and let us know exactly what you guys are picking up as well. We love to hear it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.